Hello everybody and welcome back to Gospel Standard Gaming, the only place where Jesus saves our games and our lives. We're in the home stretch, everybody. Today, we finally, finally get to talk about probably the biggest selling point of the Persona series, social links. Social links are essentially the way by which your personas can become stronger from the get-go, as Igor explains to you near the beginning of the game. If you have good relationships and you make the person or people in question happy, your social link level goes up and your personas gain more experience when you fuse them. Pretty simple, right? But that's not the only reason we do social links around here. We do it for the story. Many of the relationships our main character can develop with his various classmates, neighbors, and internet entities are deeply emotional and or downright fun and hilarious. Most of them start off pretty light, bar a few. I'm looking at you, Akinari. But sooner or later, some sort of crisis develops and the main character is present to console, defend, guide, or simply be with these characters through it. That's pretty Jesus-like if you ask me. Speaking of which, I need to remind us that all of these social link analyses, as with all of the analyses in this series of videos, are being done from the perspective that the main character parallels Jesus Christ. So let's all try to keep that in mind going forward. Also, if the sound quality sounds different and I hope that different is better, that's because I actually have a different recording setup this time around. I got myself a HyperX Quadcast, it's really cool, it's been serving me really well, it is way better than the recording setup I had before with just headphone, microphone, and going under a blanket to drown out background noise. This does a lot of that work for me, so it's awesome that I don't have to sweat profusely as I'm recording this and I'm able to focus better um, and hear myself as I'm recording. So, really cool product. No product placement, no paid promotion just wanted to say, hey, I got new stuff, and it's working really well. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, I've rambled enough about that. Let's get into the things that you're really here for, which is Persona and Gospel Goodness. Anyway, there are 22 social links available in Persona 3 FES, taking away the mandatory story-based ones, that's 19, and taking away the ones involving the Girls of Seas, that leaves us with 15, a whopping 15 characters that you learn about exclusively through social links. Now there's no way we are going to get through every single social link, nor do we need to because honestly not all of them hold much gospel goodness inside of them, so I'm gonna go through three per episode for the next and last three episodes of this series. Making a total of nine social links we will discuss at length and we're gonna leave it at that. Which ones are we gonna cover exactly? We'll stay tuned and find out. If you couldn't tell from the thumbnail and title, today we're going to cover Akinari, Bebe, and Hidetoshi. But before we get to them, I do want to touch on our honorable mentions. Each of these social links I felt either did not have much gospel goodness, or the amount of gospel goodness laid within was lacking. But whatever I could find, I will mention now. Kazushi, or Kaz for short, is your sports team buddy, no matter which sport you pick, coincidentally, and he has an injured knee. He tries to work through the injury to keep his promise to his nephew and to not weigh the team down, but in the end, he learns that it is better to rely on his team and take care of himself than to make things worse by trying to be tough. Essentially, Kaz learns the real superpower of teamwork! This parallels well with Paul's discussion of the body of Christ in 1 Corinthians. He essentially states that the church is the body of Christ and that just like any body, it has many parts and organs that function differently yet work together. If any parts are missing or broken, the body does not function as well as it could, and the body functions best when all parts work together and not against each other. The old couple, Bunkichi and Mitsuko, from the bookstore Bookworms, take the main character through their grief over their son's tragic passing. The main character, being present in their grief and empathizing with them, capturing their hearts, parallels Jesus' understanding and empathetic presence with us in our difficult times. Kenji Tomochika is a horny student who sets his sights on the economics teacher, Emery Kano, only to get his heart broken when he finds out that she's engaged to another man. Kenji's progression through his social link is similar to how many Christians walk with Christ. We start a relationship with Christ, set our sights on something else that we desire, and try to have Jesus help us attain that thing. Even if we thank him, we then abandon him for the very blessing he gave us. When that idol fails us, we then run back to him, crying and seeking guidance. 
Thank God that he is very merciful, gracious, patient, and understanding, accepting our genuine repentance. Another little tidbit from Kenji is that during the Nyx fight he recognizes, all I can do right now is pray, but whatever it is man, I know you can do it. Sometimes it's true that quote unquote all we can do is pray, but prayer is very powerful indeed, changing us and empowering us. He also shows faith in the main character, which for our purposes parallels faith in Christ. That's pretty cool. Maiko is a little girl you meet at the shrine playground whose parents are going through a divorce. At one point, Maiko tells the main character she's running away and asks you to keep it a secret. When her parents come looking for her, the main character tells them where they might find her, and the family is reunited. Though you did not follow Maiko's wishes, she is grateful for the results that followed. This is often true in our relationships with Jesus. We might pray and ask for something we desire very much and get a no in response. Ultimately, God knows much better than us what is needed in our lives, and as such, we can trust him when he disagrees with us and takes things in a direction we might not understand. Yuko Nishiwaki is one of the love interests available to the main character, the captain of your sports team. Again, coincidentally of anyone you choose, she has a deep desire to help teach and encourage others, but struggles with low self-esteem based on her weight. I want to talk more about Yuko because I do genuinely enjoy her social link, but I could not see much in here besides this. Jesus loves us just as we are, despite what anyone else thinks of us. Though he will not leave us unchanged because his goodness is contagious, he will accept us however and wherever we are. Lastly, I'll mention that after defeating Nyx, or what I'll keep referring to now as post Nyx, if you talk to Yuko, she will say that she wants to walk alongside the main character. This parallels every believer's desire to walk alongside Jesus as they live on this earth and to be with him forever in eternity. And lastly, Maya, or spoiler alert, Miss Tori Yumi, the main character's homeroom teacher, just has these two quotes. During the Nyx fight, she states, Oh god, this can't be happening. I wish I could talk to him and calm myself down. This parallels the fact that Jesus is a great reliever of anxiety, the Prince of Peace, in fact. And being in his presence, we find the fullness of joy. By keeping our minds on him, he keeps us, as Isaiah states, in perfect peace. And post Nyx, after that very very embarrassing scene in which she finds out Tetsuya was the main character the whole time, she states, It was thanks to you that I was able to turn my life around. No matter how we might encounter Jesus, as I stated with Yuko, he will never leave us the same as we came to him. Alright, that's all six honorable mentions done, and we're already about eight minutes into the video. This is gonna be a long one, folks. Let's move on to the more substantial social links, the ones that are in the title now, right? Shall we? Let's start with a heavy one, Akanari Kamiki. You might look at Akanari and think, he seems rather sickly, and that's cause he is. In fact, he's dying. His entire social link revolves around the fact that he is dying, the social link even being labeled Dying Young Man Social Link. Because of his illness, Akanari has some very heavy questions, mostly surrounding his suffering and the meaning of life. He struggles back and forth with questioning if it's even important for him to have a meaning of life, but he becomes determined not to die until he finds it attributing this to the main character's influence on him. Akanari decides to write a short story, and he explains that as he is writing the story, he can envision the main character, and by doing so, gain a clearer picture, quote-unquote. I'm not sure if he's actually referring to gaining a clearer picture for his story or for the meaning of life, but it might be purposefully ambiguous. If the latter, this serves as a good parallel for what many experience in a relationship with Christ. Jesus can open our eyes, so to speak, and make it clearer to us why we are here. And what is the reason we're here, you might ask? Well, personally I cannot speak for anyone but myself, but corporately, as people, Jesus makes it very clear. To love the Lord, and to love others. And wouldn't you know it, this is essentially the conclusion Akinari comes to by the end of the social link. Serving others is one of the prime ways Jesus calls us to love him and other people. Because of Akinari's conclusion, this social link displays a great parallel on the meaning of life according to the Bible. But of course, I cannot stop talking about Akinari until I mention that soon after he states his conclusion, he disappears. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to imply. I originally thought it meant he was actually dead the whole time, and that the main character was actually helping his lingering spirit find peace. But if that were the case, the main character's influence would have gone beyond time, because when you speak to Akinari's mother post Nyx, she states how he would mention the main character to her. 
This isn't impossible, it's just a little mind-rattling. There's also the possibility that Akinari was actually somehow using a spiritual projection to speak to the main character, but that would not explain how he could physically give him the book at the end. It's actually all kind of confusing to me, so if anyone has any insight on that, I would greatly appreciate hearing it in the comments section. Now I've rambled on about Akinari, so let's move on to someone else. Next on my list for today is Bebe, aka Andre Laurent John Giraud. I'm gonna stick with Bebe for ease. Bebe is a foreign exchange student from France who admires Japan deeply, probably more deeply than anything else. His passion in life is fashion, and he dreams of becoming a clothing designer. Throughout his social link, the main character listens to his woes, and Bebe is extremely grateful for his listening ear. Essentially, at social link 4, Bebe's aunt dies, and he is grief-stricken. On top of that, she is the one who made his foreign exchange experience possible, and Bebe fears that without more financial support, he will have to return to France. As a result, Bebe decides to convince his uncle that his studies in Japan are worthy of his financial support by creating a beautiful kimono and sending it to him. Thanks to the main character's emotional and laborial support, Bebe actually succeeds. But he realizes that he cannot in good conscience put his family through such a huge financial burden for his pleasure. So Bebe resolves to return home after all and learn all that he can there with the hope of maybe one day returning to Nihon and reuniting with his now dear friend, the main character. Bebe's social link exemplifies what it means to consider Jesus our best friend. Now, why would we consider Jesus our best friend? Well, mostly for three reasons. One, as our creator, Jesus knows us better than we know ourselves. As scripture states, he knows every hair on our head, and he knit us in our mother's womb. And as shown by Jesus multiple times, he knows our very thoughts. Two, we know we are allowed to consider God so personally because Abraham was considered to be so close to God. And three, God is trustworthy of being so close to us because he is good. The same characteristics that Bebe louds the main character for throughout his social link, we can also attribute to Jesus. Jesus is understanding, supportive, and emotionally intelligent. When we develop such a loving relationship with Jesus, we want to tell others about him, and just as the words of a precious friend affect us so deeply, so will his word. All in all, Bebe was able to learn a valuable lesson from his time with the main character, and on top of that, also gained a meaningful, deep relationship by which he found much joy in life. Ultimately, if we let him into our lives, Jesus provides the same for us in the real world. Our last social link on schedule for today is Hidetoshi. Hidetoshi is a hard ass. <gasps> Did he just say ass? On his Christian channel? Yes. Yes, I did. Sue me. Anyway, this is actually a great transition into what Hidetoshi's social link is all about. Legalism! <laughs> Legalism is a fancy Christianese term for being really, really strict about rules and showing little to no grace or mercy when they are broken. Legalistic, the adjective form of our fancy word for the day, is often used to describe the Pharisees, a group of Jewish teachers and priests from Jesus' day that were extremely traditional. Now, these guys had some serious beef with Jesus. They hated him so much because the truth he was spitting would upend their entire way of living, and as such, would make the Pharisees lose all the power they had gained over the people through religion. Yes, you heard that right. Jesus opposed the religiosity of his time. Mankind, or more specifically mankind's sin, had twisted the law of God for their own selfish desires, namely power, and they had created traditions that were not from God's law that they treated more seriously than God's law. Because these traditions and rules had gone way overboard, they actually kept people away from God instead of bringing them toward him like they were supposed to, and the Pharisees were the ones promoting and maintaining this legalistic religion religious trajectory even if it wasn't their conscious intention. This is why Jesus points out so many times in the Gospels that though the Pharisees and the Sadducees, another group of religious priests, strive to uphold the law, they do not know God. Hidetoshi fits very well with the Pharisees. He is the disciplinary committee representative in the student government at Gekko Khan High, and boy does he take his job seriously! Any rule violation he observes, he calls out ferociously and unapologetically. His social link mostly revolves around him having found a cigarette butt in the boy's bathroom and trying to find the student smoker to punish him. Hidetoshi deals with the idol of power. He wishes to gain more power in the student government. So much so that he even considers making a deal with the PE teacher that if Hidetoshi finds the smoker and has him expelled, the PE teacher will put in a good word for him during the next student body elections and help him become the next student council president. 
Ultimately, this deal falls apart when the PE teacher accuses the main character of being the culprit and tells Hidetoshi to just pin it on him. Hidetoshi chooses to be loyal to his friend and loses out on his own gain. This display of loyalty at his own expense shows how Hidetoshi has grown because of his relationship with the main character. He seemed like one who wanted power at all costs, but he became someone who would rather lose out on an opportunity than give up his friend. His interactions with the main character have helped Hidetoshi overcome his idol of power. More so than just being like the Pharisees, Hidetoshi is most like Nicodemus. Now, how is this like Nicodemus specifically? Well, let's start with the question, who is Nicodemus? Nicodemus was a Pharisee alive during Jesus' ministry who took a liking to Jesus, unlike many of his brethren. Some of you may know Nicodemus as the man Jesus was talking with when he said the most famous verse in scripture, aka John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. This is not some church doctrinal summary that they make kids memorize or some random saying of Jesus. This is part of a nighttime conversation Jesus had with Nicodemus in which he explains the way salvation truly works. And why is this a nighttime conversation, you may ask? Well, Nicodemus did not want to be seen with Jesus, lest his Pharisee friends excommunicate him or something. You see, Nicodemus already had a system in place. He had his own understanding of who God is, who God wants him to be as his servant, and how God was going to save Israel. But even more so, he had power. The system of religion and politics the Pharisees had put in place gave them power with a righteous flavor coated in holy words. What Jesus was revealing to him, however, turned his entire system, really his entire world, up on its head. We don't really know what happens to Nicodemus between this conversation and Jesus' death, but we do know from John's Gospel that Nicodemus is one of the two disciples who buries Jesus. Nicodemus' participation in this ritual for Jesus is a powerful symbol of his love and loyalty toward Jesus. Whereas during their conversation, Nicodemus met Jesus at night so as not to be seen, now he was out in the open for everyone to see as he buried his master's body. So, somewhere between these two events delineated in scripture, Nicodemus' heart changed, and he committed himself to becoming a follower of Jesus, even at the cost of the power he previously sought to protect. Because of that one conversation he had with Jesus that one night, Nicodemus was empowered and inspired to overcome his idol of power and serve his new, rightful, and righteous master. So, both Nicodemus and Hidetoshi, through their interactions with their saviors, overcome the idol of power and show their loyalty. And that about wraps it up for today. Oh my goodness, this was a long episode. The longest episode since the first one, so I'm a little beat. But thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through to the end. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like, write a comment, and to hit that subscribe and bell button for more content to come. I've been uploading weekly for this series, so expect another episode next week. We'll be continuing with the social links. So let's see if your favorite one comes out. And why don't you leave a comment of which social link is your favorite from Persona 3. Anyway. Thank you guys again so much. I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day. God bless you, and see you in the next one.